everybody, it's me again, Shelly. Haven't done a video in about six months. I've been taking a break because I was tired of trying to paint in my kitchen and I finally got me a shed. So I'm painting again. Today I'm going to do a reverse flower dip on a 10 by 10 canvas artist loft. I've already coated my base with black Craft Smart from Michaels. I mixed it with 60% glue, 40% water is the poured medium, and I did about half and one to one ratio on the black paint. All right, today I'm using fluorescent pink by Liquitex Basics. All of them are Liquitex Basics today. Fluorescent red fluorescent orange, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent green, and fluorescent blue. I also pre-mixed pearl white and that is just regular white with iridescent medium which makes this a metallic. And I did 60% the 60-40 glue and water mixture pouring medium with my paints. Hold on one second. All of it is like one to one ratio. One part paint, one part pouring medium. Same on the white. Alright, I'm going to start laying my colors. Starting with the blue. I'm going to lay a layer of pearl white underneath in between each color, but not a lot because it'll take over. Not green. Back my white. No. I learned this technique watching Fiona Art. She's from Selena. Really pretty. Let me get done with it. Here it blows. We're going to go back and do another layer. Start with the blue again. Now this pearl white makes glazing and sales. Anytime you do the pearl white or metallics, it creates that effect. It's real pretty. It makes the petals look lazy. So for this layer, now below this, get all this paint out. Now I'm taking on the pool out like this with my skewer. My pool's coming through. Too deep on that. Alright. Now I want to turn my bottle bottom and try to line it up in the center. Nope. Now we're gonna start over. I'm only going to do one layer of colors on this one.
Now the next step, take a napkin or paper towel you want to open it up. You want to make sure it fits. Oh, I almost forgot something. Huh. You do this to bring all your colors to the center also. Go the opposite direction. You want to bring some of the colors to the center. You want to take your paper towel, spray it with water bottle till it's damp. Fold it in half. And lay half down. And then open it up. This gives you better control of the paper towel. Get some gloves on. During my six months of not painting, I've been watching a lot of videos. When I first started mixing paints, I did it all the same, mixed it all my paints the same, no matter what the technique was. And upon watching videos for these past six months, I learned that not all recipes are created equal. So there's actually different recipes, different pouring mediums that you use for each technique. So that just meant I had to buy more materials. I'm pressing on this right now just to make sure that the paper towel has contact with all my paint. Alright, now here's the important part. When you're pulling this up, you want to... How it, the end result looks all depends on how you pull your paper towel. So you want to try to pull it evenly. One corner at a time. in between and then you just pull straight up and you want to catch the drips As you can see, all these little cells are starting to form. These little circles popping up of color. Let me play with this for a second. My gloves are not bad. I have to wear it. Fingers are too short. <laughs> I don't feel it up.
I'm going to torch it real quick. Just get any air bubbles out. Probably gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna move this for one second so hang tight so I can get my spinner in. There we go. Take that. Alright. Make sure it's all good. Make sure I'm in camera and there we go. All right, let's see what it does. Now this should spread this out across the canvas. I'm not doing that. Oh, don't fall off. Oh. Let's try again. I make this look so easy. Ooh. I need some edges. Okay, let's try again. I think it's really gonna get everywhere. I don't want to I still want the center. I don't want the black in the center. Maybe I can come back after it dries. And... That's what's wrong. I would have gotten fast enough. <laughs> okay, one more time. I want to get these last of these quarters. I think that's as good as it's going to get. So, there you have it. Tell me what you think. If you like it better as the flower or spread out. I'm not really big about negative space. I like the whole canvas to be covered. I bought the canvas. I bought the paint. I want it all covered. So we're going to torch it one more time. Just to see what's going to happen. I'm going to have to do something with that center. I don't like that black in it. All right. Well, there you go, guys. A reverse flower dip spun out on it. That's actually a lazy Susan, not a cake spinner. So, all right. Tell me what you think. Have a good one.